Hello and welcome to the second vlog. It's the 1st of November today, so pinch punch first day of the month. And I hope you enjoyed the first one. I left you on a bit of a cliffhanger because today I've got my second to last curtain call show. We're in Manchester. Uh, it's going to be a wicked night. Lots and lots of footage to show you. I'll try to give you a sneak preview of everything that happens. Breakfast complete, we've showered, I've shaved, I'm pretty much ready for the show and then we'll be at the venue. So I don't know what you're going to see next, but uh, hopefully a couple of shots just showing you where we've been. Oh. Yeah, the car, the car is absolutely jam packed. There is no room for anywhere, the boot only just shuts. We're here, we're at the venue. We've gone through the artist entrance. I won't show you where that is. Uh, just, I'm sure they won't appreciate that, but we're just gonna head in, go take a little look around before we unload the car, get set up. We've got a couple of hours uh, and then we've got sound check. Incredible venue, so looking forward to this. We've just unloaded the car, gonna start setting up now. <laughs> Look at this venue. Absolutely stunning. This is my stage for the night and I'm so looking forward to it. Check is all complete. We are ready to go. Meet and greet all done. It was so nice to meet all of them. In fact, I got to play with a kid as well on the piano, which was absolutely lovely. We've met a couple of times. He was fantastic. Nearly there about an hour and then I'm on stage and it's gonna be me and that audience and we're gonna have a fantastic, fantastic night. Woo! The show is done. What an audience Manchester are. That was absolutely incredible. Singing best part at the top of their lungs. It was absolutely awesome. What a night. I am absolutely knackered. I'm already eating sausage rolls. Uh, I've literally just come off stage, but I need to refuel. Awesome night, and I can't believe we've only got one show left. Morning, everyone. Um, it is now uh, Saturday. The show last night was absolutely incredible. Uh, sorry, I didn't get any any footage. Um, it was a little bit epic. Um, we had a wonderful night, as I said. The crowd were insane. I'm absolutely shattered. How are you feeling, Dad? Yeah, tired. Uh, about seven hours sleep, but I suppose that's long enough. We are on the road. We've got about 45 minutes until we're going to charge up the vehicle, about halfway there. It's a much better run this time. We're not as, uh, as delayed. I think on the last video you saw that we uh, took us nearly nine hours to get up to Manchester. We're hoping it's only going to be about four, four and a half hours on the way home. Getting fueled up, Costa Coffee. <laughs> Three hours Not sponsored. To go. Three hours to go. Don't blame it on sunshine. Don't blame it on the moonlight. Don't blame it on good times. Blame it on the boogie. Sun is shining in the sky. We've 
got about 70 miles left, uh, about an hour and a half worth of driving. Uh, and then we will be at um, my mum and dad's house. Traffic again, M25, why do you do this to us? <laughs> Good boy! Ah! <laughs> well, we're just at the Halloween party at the moment. It's been so nice to see everyone. We've taken little Obi for a walk. Um, we're just outside having a little catch up. It's, it's sometimes difficult when you go away for so long. <laughs> Um, and you're, you're away a lot, you forget to sit down and have these moments and so it's nice just to, just to catch up. Look at that Halloween top, little baby skeleton as well. <laughs> Hello everyone, um, I'm home, it's the end of Saturday now, right at the end of Saturday. Um, it's been an incredible but tiring and long 48 hours. Morning everyone, it is Sunday, the last day of the Curtain Call Tour. It's mad how quickly the entire shows, the tour has gone. It's, um, it's been fantastic though. I've woken up, I'm a little bit tired still. I'm quite vocally uh, tired, so what I'm gonna do, it's always a good idea, I'm gonna go steam, I'm off to a spa, um, just to rejuvenate, make sure that I can deliver the best possible performance for tonight. So I've, uh, I've just made it home, um, it was lovely. Nice to kind of relax uh, in the spa. I didn't film any of that, uh, just, just decided to take that as a little bit of um, respite time. Uh, steam room, great for the vocal cords, bit of a sauna just to chill and then a little swim as well before finishing off with another steam room, good for the voice. It's good. Last show today. Wow! Back at the Westfields, second time in the last seven days. And we're done in Westfields. Good, successful. We went to the spaghetti house, had a bit of food there. It was so busy. Um, we've got an hour and a 40 minute drive ahead of us. So um, we're gonna go straight to Leicester Square, see if we can unload a little bit early. Yep. Get in, get this show under the way, and I'm gonna see a lot of you this evening. In the heart of the West End, and I have just seen my all time favorite musical. There she is, Les Mis. And cool. The thing that has occupied my brain for the last year and a half, finished, done tonight. Obviously Curtain Call will always be with me and I'm always going to be singing the songs from Curtain Call. I'm going to keep listening to the album and I hope you do too. But uh, the tour uh, and everything that, that was Curtain Call finished this evening. It was a wonderful show. I know I've got some footage to show you so uh, I hope you hope you enjoyed that. Um, and now we roll on to the Overtones tour starting this Tuesday I'm picking up the bus, Wednesday our first show and then uh, roll on Spotlight as well, the new album, the new tour. The Good morning, uh, we are now on Monday, Monday uh, and I am absolutely knackered. Last night was my show, uh, my final show of Curtain Call. 
Um, it was a wonderful evening, as I'm sure I've said many times already during this vlog, um, but honestly, it, it really was. I'm absolutely shattered this morning. Got a bit of a headache, uh, feeling a little bit run down, but there's things to do. So a while ago, I ordered um, something I'm very excited about. Hello, Obi. You okay? Yes. A while ago, I ordered something I'm very, very excited about. Um, some of you may know that I, I really enjoy vinyl uh, and collecting records. Uh, and there is one musical, it happens to be one of my favourite musicals of all time. Of course, the last five years, it's, it's an incredible musical and beautifully written by Jason Robert Brown. And when they released the movie, they printed 1,000 vinyls, um, 1,000 records of the soundtrack. Um, they're impossible to find and I'm ashamed to admit, relatively expensive as well. And I look every single month and I have done for the last three years um, to find one of these records. And I did, I did find one. Um, it arrived this morning. So I've just picked up the banners for the overtones. They look great. Um, when you come along to see the show, make sure you have a look at those banners because they've done an awesome job. Getting a haircut by the lovely, lovely Sue. And there we have it. A nice fresh haircut, ready for tour. We went quite short today because obviously I'm away for six weeks without really the possibility of another haircut. So it is quite short. But I'm quite happy with it. Well, I'm not quite happy with it. I'm really happy with it. Morning, everyone. It is Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's the day that we start the Overtones tour. I'm heading over to London later to... to... Oh my goodness, I can't speak. So I've got all day with Hannah now and Obi, and I'm bringing my dad over a little bit later just to double check everything's there. I do need to pop into the studio, first thing, um, to just make sure I'm happy with all the tracks provided, um, that everything is there. So I'm turning up as prepared as I possibly can. Baby's kicking. This is the first time I'm getting to feel the baby. Mm -hmm. I felt it this morning for the first time and mm -hmm. it's kicking again. Wake up, baby. They have done that. It's you singing. It's woken them up. I uh, apologise. I'm running through all the overtones bits. Right, just need you. Shall I stay? There we go. Would it be a sin? Yeah, it's kicking. Yeah. If I can't help. Falling in <laughs> love with you. We're just off out. We've finished packing for the Overtones tour. Um, so we're just going to go grab some lunch as like a final day, kind of spend some time together. Uh, and then we're going to go pick up my dad straight afterwards, go get a final banner from the printers. Massive shout out to MR Printers again for coming in clutch um, and uh, helping us out. We're all packed up ready to go. We're off to the printers to go get the final banner. Horsham first, yep. Horsham and then London. High Wycombe. High Wycombe. Pick up the bus and we're off. Here we go. Here we go. We're here. We've yeah. made it. Just about. Woo. Morning. It is now uh, Wednesday. Again, getting confused with my dates. I'm going to get known for this. Um, last night was not the easiest of nights. Uh, we had a slight issue with the bus, nothing major, just uh, they couldn't turn off the heating <laughs> and so it was like a sauna. So uh, people haven't slept particularly well, but we are at our first destination in Wales.
been an eventful morning helping out making sure that everything is set up working uh, the stage looks absolutely incredible i'll get a video of it right now on my way to the stage now i'll give you a little look we're uh, up the top in my dressing room so the boys are just warming up now i've got my suits all ready to go 45 minutes, I'll go on, do a quick sound check. The boys have then got a meet and greet. I'm going to have a shower, get ready, and then I'm on. Time has flown by. I'm going to be on stage before I know it. My sound check is all done. I haven't filmed any of it because if you want to come and see what I'm singing on the Overtones tour, you're going to have to get tickets. <laughs> I know, I just forgot to film. Um, but still, get your tickets, come down. Um, they're going to be a wonderful, wonderful evening. Lots and lots of fantastic shows. In two minutes, that's where I'm going to be. Out on stage. I'll catch you after. Oh, I just had the most awesome time on stage. Incredible. An Overtones crowd never disappoints. Full of energy. Uh, I've just... The boys have just started their set, decided to take a couple of photos of them. Uh, that's my plan over this tour, to obviously do a great job on stage, but also get much better at my photography. So uh, yeah, I've just taken some photos. I'm gonna sit down, edit them. Then, second half of the show. It is Thursday, uh, last day of the vlog. Uh, second day of the Overtone show. I'm just gonna go out and get a coffee really quickly. It's 8.30 in the morning, so quite early. Um, I slept so well last night. I can't speak for everyone on the bus, but uh, my head hit that pillow and I was out. Uh, I'm helping out again today, just unloading, make sure everything's kind of working and running. Um, it's gonna be a really, really great day. Uh, I can feel it in my bones. The setup is all done. Um, we are all sorted tonight. I've changed my set list slightly for this evening. Again, if you want to know what I'm singing, you've got to come. Back in the beautiful Sheffield City Hall. It's very nice. We're just going to go look at the merch stand very briefly. I'll give you a little look at what um, the incredible work that Dad's done. So I'm all checked into my hotel for tonight because I'm heading down to London tomorrow. I'm not staying on the bus tonight, so I needed a hotel. So I'm in a wonderful hotel, all checked in, ready for a good night's sleep. But first we have a show to do. It's gonna be a really, really fun show. Sheffield, as always, is absolutely incredible. The most beautiful venue, as I'm sure you've seen on this video. So I'll try and get some footage of Soundcheck. Um, that'll, be, that'll be useful. Uh, and then that will nearly be it for this week's vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Nice. Um, can we run the, just the overture just to see how I'm getting into place and then that'll be it. That's it. Another vlog is done. Another show is done. It's been an eventful week, hasn't it? Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, and I'm looking forward to showing you what's happening next week and what's happening tomorrow. Again, leaving you on another cliffhanger. It's going to be a, an exciting day tomorrow uh, and I'll let you know where I am next Friday. Bye. <laughs>